So a lot of young men in America are going nuts. A shockingly large number of them have been prescribed psychotropic drugs by their doctors, SSRIs or antidepressants. And that would include quite a few mass shooters. And keep in mind, again, these drugs are meant to prevent crazy behavior. And yet there seems to be a connection. Eric Harris, the Columbine killer, was in both Zoloft and Luvox. A year earlier, a 15-year-old called Kip Kinkle shot his parents and dozens of classmates. He was on Prozac. In 2005, a 16-year-old called Jeff Wiesa killed his grandfather and 10 kids in Minnesota. He was on Prozac, too. So was 27-year-old Stephen Kamerzak, who murdered six people at Northern Illinois University. In 2012, you may recall, when 25-year-old James Holmes walked into a movie theater and shot 82 people. He was on Zoloft. The list goes on and on and on and on. Between 1991 and 2018, total SSRI prescriptions in the United States rose by more than 3,000%. 3,000%. Over the very same period, the suicide rate in the United States jumped by 35%. Mass shootings also increased dramatically over the very same period. Here's a chart that shows it. Now, the half on Twitter always scream the same thing. <laughs> Correlation is not causation. All right, whatever that means. But tell us, what is going on exactly? What, what does that chart mean? We know that SSRIs are dangerous. It says so right on the label. They increase, quote, the risk of anxiety, agitation, irritability, hostility, aggressiveness, impulsivity, and mania. Oh, not a big deal. That's not causation.